Hello everyone! My name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the very first vlog of 2023. Well, no, very first weekend vlog of 2023. <laughs> also, I just realized that you can see that I was crying like three seconds ago. I'm currently watching The Legends of Vox Machina season two panel at Comic-Con that I saw it on, on here and Matt and Mercer just made me cry. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what those tears are evidence of my emotions. But hi, hello friends. It's officially the weekend. I have no idea what I'm gonna be reading this weekend. I have realized, oh no, I know what I'm gonna be reading. I just had this like blip in my brain for a second. I think I'm going to be starting my reread of Legendborn to go into Bloodmarked. I've been hankering for this one. I also have a bunch of library books. Actually, let me get up and let me show you that I have picked up since kind of doing like a re-upping of holds at the end of last year. Not re-upping, but like a, a fresh, fresh bout of holds, if you will, to kind of, you know, get ready for the new year. Hold, put holds on some books. So I have five. I have Realm of Ash, which is the second in the Empire of Sands duology. It's like a companion duology, I believe, by Tasha Shuri, which is the only Oh, no, it's one of the last two published of Tasha Shuri's books that I have not yet read. The other one is the Weathering Heights retelling. But that one I am going to hopefully get to. I have it here if I want to. And then I also today ended up picking up this romance, which is called Adult Assembly Acqui Required, not Acquired, by Abby Waxman. I know nothing about it, but it is the author of The Bookish Life of Nina Hill, which I enjoyed when I listened to that one. So I don't know. It looks cool. It looks cool. So I think I'm going to read it. I'm kind of in the mood for a romance too right now. So I might do that one. I also picked up this middle grade called The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton, who is beloved on the book internet. And I've never read a book by her, but I've heard that this middle grade is amazing. So I think I might add this one and the romance onto my reading list for this weekend alongside Legendborn, just so I can like get some library books down. I also have Saint Death's Daughter by C.S.E. Cooney, which I know literally nothing about, but I've heard heard something about it that made me add it to my Amazon wish list. So when I went back on there, I was like, I don't remember what that is. I'm gonna get it from the library. So I did. And finally, Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. This one I should probably get on quickly because I feel like this one I'm not gonna be able to renew either. So I might pick, start picking that up this weekend if I'm in the mood. But yes, those are the library books that I have for this weekend. I also would like to start doing my like rolling challenge again. You guys know if you've been around since December my rolling challenge also today literally at four o'clock on the dot when my when my day ended at work i knocked over my coffee mug and because i i had like this much coffee left in it because i just forgot i had it threw my laptop aside so it's fine but what is not fine is my puzzle that was living underneath everything i am so sad because now like the pieces of it are literally like crumbling I am so sad. <laughs> I'm trying to save it. I have a book pressed with like napkins on both sides. I'm trying to save it. You can see the coffee stains in it. I am unbelievably heartbroken about it because I didn't even get to finish this puzzle and I've already freaking wrecked it. So hopefully <laughs> I can salvage it, save it in some way. I'm so mad about it. Truly so mad about it. Like I might have to just throw this out if it doesn't, you know, fix itself. I'm so worried about the pieces swelling and not being able to like be put back together. So anyways, that was my, that was my day. Oh, but yes, <laughs> as I was saying, I want to get back to the rolling thing that I had in December. I rewrote my list for January and I like cut the paper short so it's there. And then in the places that I had read books from my December one where I like, I read like five books or whatever, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. In the places where I had read all of those, I filled in new ones. So I filled in Honey and Spice, Nettle and Bone, The Stars Undying, Ordinary Monsters, Night of the Raven, Dawn of the Dove, and Ruin by John Quinn, the sequel here. So I filled that all in and I do want to roll for some reading. So I might also end up doing that. This is the life of a mood reader. You gotta give yourself options. So <laughs> I have all those options to do stuff with and, and kind of go from there. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing this weekend. 
Also, I did pick up Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson, which I'm very excited about. And I will hopefully be reading that very, very soon. What else do I need to tell you guys? Oh, I have started back on my reread on Project Second Story or A Second Story because I have decided to kick my 2023 author goals into gear. I have done all the branding stuff, not all of it, but like a soft launch of a lot of branding stuff on my Instagram and my Twitter, if you guys have seen that. I've updated my Instagram handle, so now when you click the link below in a lot of my old videos, that link won't work, but from here on, the link will work because my <laughs> My handle is now author J. A. Colligan, which is very fun because that is my last name and that is what I'm going to be going by. That's like the, I guess, pseudonym, but the, I don't think that's an actual pseudonym. It's not quite because that is my name. <laughs> it's my two initials and my last name, but I'm going to do the typical fantasy author thing where it's the first letter of your first name and second name and then your last name because I think that looks better on a book cover because I am planning on publishing a second story this spring, which is very exciting. I have started to slowly roll out the TikToks and all that good stuff on TikTok. And I'm going to be trying to do that on Instagram as well and slowly grow my following on both of those. Instagram has lit, like my Instagram account has literally not grown in over two years now. So that one might be a little bit of a stalemate, but definitely will be growing my following on TikTok on YouTube as well. Hi, you guys. But yes, I'm going to be continuing my read through. I am currently on page 107 of a second story. I have been editing as I go. I got my two pens in hand at all times and I will be continuing to do that as well. But yeah, immediately when I started reading this book, again, I fell back in love with it within seconds. Like I, I think going through November with Project Luck, I was so worried that I was gonna be tainted in this story and I never really spoke about that, but I thought I was gonna be like unable to really find the joy again in this world that I had created. Thankfully, picking up Ari and Finn's story again it's there, it's back, it never really left. My boys are my favorite. So that's really exciting. And also I keep getting these like flashes of Sage's story, which is gonna be a spinoff trilogy or series or duology. It'll be a couple, it'll be more than one book for sure. In my head as I'm reading this, <laughs> which is not conducive to my plan on having a couple books out in the Arrow Mount series before I start on Sage's story. So who knows what ends up happening there. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend too. I'm going to be continuing my read through of A Second Story. And tomorrow, very excitingly, I have a couple things going on this weekend, but tomorrow I'm going to be meeting with my lovely friend who I have asked to be my cover designer. I am so excited to talk to her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so excited to talk to her and get the ball rolling for this. Like, oh, I'm so excited. And she's already said that she has ideas too, which is very interesting. I'm so excited to hear what she's got in her brain. And I'm gonna give her all my like kind of vibe things that I kind of want it to be. Give her my ideas, but she's the artist. So I trust her to make things actually look good. So I'm so excited to get that ball rolling. Ah, there's so many things, but yes, there's so much stuff that I want to tell you guys about, about a uh, second story, but I think I'm going to hold off for now. That's going to be the weekend. It's going to be just a lot of reading and editing. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow is also book club in the morning. I finished a book today. I, for a book club, we read The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O, which was fine. It didn't really catch my attention or hold it in any way. I would have eaten that book up as a teenager though. So I think it's just another nail in the coffin of me being like, yeah, why fantasy is no longer really for me, <laughs> which is sad. There are select few books, as I say all the time, like Legendborn and Realm, Realm Breaker and like a few books that really hit the mark for me, but most of them do not. And that book did not. It was fine. It was fine. But <laughs> that's what we're going to be discussing tomorrow. And then Sunday, I'm going to the bookstore to have coffee with my friend. So all good things. This weekend's going to be great. I'm excited and I'm gonna get back to watching this this panel that was making me cry about 10 minutes ago. And then I think I'm gonna dive back into my edits and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> but it's the weekend, we're officially here. Hello friends, happy Saturday. I am living on a high right now. I just met with my cover artist. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so amped, I'm so ah. We've got a, we've got a direction. We've got the vibe. We've got just like timeline. Oh God, guys, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be living this high forever. It's gonna be so good. I'm so excited to see the sketches, to see the things. Anyways, hi friends, it's Saturday. I had book club this morning. Twas good. 
mostly middling for like three of us and then the friend who picked it got gave it like a four or four and a half star so take with that what you will <laughs> but yeah it was good I, we don't know what we're reading next my friend has to pick but uh when when she picks i will be reading that it's saturday so for the rest of the day i'm gonna be just kind of hanging out i think i have D, &D later so that'll be something to do <gasps> but i also think my puzzle is officially going to have to be killed because last night i was trying to look at it and it was just peeling apart so i don't know friends yeah like the puzzle is still wet like that's oh that makes me so sad and the puzzle's probably gonna have to die but i don't want to like preemptively start tearing things apart unless it actually is dead so god what a way to start a weekend and end a week by killing a puzzle but anyways yes that was my day book club and then talking to my cover artist which is so exciting I'm so excited <laughs> but now i think i'm gonna just kind of hang out on my couch for a couple hours and see what kind of things I can do. Last night I ended up starting to read Legendborn again, or reread Legendborn I guess is the way to say that, and I'm about 120, 130 pages in. Okay, chapter 15. So I think I'm gonna keep reading this today. I forgot, I've forgotten so much about this book. <laughs> so much. But like reading it through kind of knowing how like the big plot points go, I think, I don't know, it's, it's always nice to reread books, right? Especially ones that you love. So I think I'm going to do that eventually. I don't think I'm going to do it right now because right now I'm in the mood to work on Project Second Story. So I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Got my binder here. The other night, actually, I was sitting here because I have this binder and it is so thin because I picked it up specifically to hold this manuscript so it is like exactly what I need but when I first got it I was like oh I need like one of those hole puncher things and I hole punched it <laughs> in the way of like oh I got a whole bunch of hole punchers and you can kind of see that I've like really messed up and I had to the other day I was like I can't do this anymore I need to hole punch it better because it was impossible to turn the pages without the rings being open so i needed to re-hole punch and loosen it all up and now the manuscript looks like a hot mess <laughs> this is the first two pages of my editing and like the pages are crumpled because i was like trying to like pull it whole thing to make it more easy to turn but now it's like easy to turn on the binder things <laughs> anyways how far am i into this now 115 pages so i think i'm gonna work on this for a bit and uh see where the afternoon takes me. I'll catch up with you guys a little later. This is my Saturday. Sunday. I am home. I literally have not been home since noon and it is now seven. I'm very tired. <laughs> I wanted to pop in and say hey because today has been a fun day. I ended up spending the majority of the day with my lovely friend Sophia at the bookstore and at the cafe attached to said bookstore. It was a very good time. It was lovely. I'm glad that we, we did that. I ended up buying one book. I bought A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross, and she ended up actually gifting me two books for Christmas. <laughs> bought me these two. She got me The Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen, which is something that's been on my wish list for a long time. I've been meaning to pick this one up. It looks absolutely beautiful. And she also got me A Merry Little Me Cute by Julia Murphy and Sierra Simone. This is one that kind of blew up a little bit in my friend group this Christmas. People kept talking about this one, so I'm intrigued about it. And apparently it's very spicy, so we love to see it. But yeah, 
those are the book hauls of the day. I think I think I'm gonna stop buying books for a little while now because I do have a couple pre-orders. I think I have three pre-orders in January coming in, so that'll kind of curb my <laughs> book buying for this month for sure. And uh, we'll see how the rest of it goes. But yeah, I'm home. I'm tired. I want to sit and do nothing for a little while, so that's what I'm gonna do. I haven't read anymore. I'm just I'm kind of not in a reading mood right now, which is weird because I'm in the mood to like have lots of stats and stuff because I, I joined Storygraph. I don't know if I've mentioned that previously. I think I did in my previous vlog. And I just want to add in books so that I can see the stats grow. And that's also how I feel about like my bullet journal and stuff, like filling out these things that I have. I also did something different this year with my bullet journal. I have my bookshelf that I always have. I added a key at the bottom and I'm going to track them by like star rating because everyone that I see with this star rating only has five different colors. And I'm like, but I give half ratings. <laughs> so I broke it down into a bunch of them. So we have five stars, four and a half, four stars, three and a half, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be filling out my bookcase with those colors as per the read that I have. But specifically this bookshelf, I don't know if I've ever explained that, is only for the books that I read that I've owned previously. So the ones that I own, I put on this shelf. So it doesn't count for library books or ebooks or audiobooks. I don't read ebooks, but you know what I mean? Like if I don't own the book physically, it doesn't go on the shelf once I've read it. So this is just reading my physical bookshelf. But yeah, I just want to fill out all the stats <laughs> and I want to get lots of things in here because I want to read a lot but I like I'm not in a reading mood right now I'm in a Dungeons and Dragons and crocheting mood so that's what I'm going to do that's the update had a lovely day and then went to mom and dad's after that had some quesadillas hung out with Bella it was a good time my hair is looking particularly stringy so I'm gonna put it up so it gets off my neck and uh I will catch up with you guys a little later <laughs> end of day i'm home from both work and then teaching hello i wanted to pop in and officially kind of close out this vlog i realized that uh it's monday you gotta do that <laughs> but you'll have seen in that please ignore my dishwasher <laughs> you'll have seen in that uh time lapse just before that i officially took apart the caduceus puzzle and i'm gonna have to throw it away because a lot of the parts that were affected by the coffee curled up and like it detached from layers and stuff, which makes it an unusable puzzle because the pieces that are supposed to be puzzly pieces no longer work. So super sad about that. We'll probably be buying another one to compensate at some point. But another thing, got in the mail today, got some fun markers in the mail because every once in a while, like the markers that I use in my bullet journal and for work and stuff, because I track my hours and things, they dry out. So I picked up a new pack and I also got a new tarot card set. This is the Erin Morgenstern one, the Phantom Wise set, which is absolutely beautiful. And I love it. Tarot vibes, so good. I am currently boiling some water because I'm gonna have some pasta with some soup that my mom made. And I'm gonna have some soup for dinner because it is officially eight, third, almost nine. Yep, 10 to nine. So, you know, <laughs> I gotta eat dinner, <laughs> but. Anyways, I want to also pop in and talk about the book that I started last night, which was The Marvelers by Daniel Clayton. It was the, the library book, one of the library books. Wow, my hair. But one of the library books that I picked up, The Marvelers. I have no idea where I am in it. I know I have like two hours left of the audiobook, but I'm well over 100 pages in because I got to 100 pages last night and I listened to it today a little bit. So I am adoring this little middle grade. <laughs> it is so cute. 
and heartwarming and the magic is lovely and the descriptions are just delicious. Loving this so much. Will be buying a copy eventually to add to my collection because this is absolutely freaking magical. This is a like a new spin on the magical school trope. So if you're at all interested in that, definitely pick this up. This is absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. Like it might even be a five star if it keeps being this wonderful <laughs> as I listen to it, which is amazing because I haven't had a five star middle grade in so long. But The Marvelers is marvelous, if you will. Um, I haven't read any more of Legendborn than since I last updated you, which is very little. I need to get on this and keep reading it because I really love that book so and I know I do so I need to actually read it but yes that's all I really read this weekend I guess you could also consider my reading of <laughs> a second story to be reading as well but it, even then I didn't really get through a whole lot I had a lot of things a lot of things going on you know say la vie anyways my friends thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend thank you for you know being great let me know down below how your first couple weeks of january have been i would love to know and i will catch you in another video very soon stay kind and keep on reading